Hello, thanks for stopping by StampsToDieFor.com. My name is Patsy Wagoner and I am excited to share with you today another technique how-to. Hope you enjoy it. So let's get started today with this technique of um, reverse spotlighting. I've chosen um, Strawberry Slush, Pool Party, Island Indigo, and Daffodil Delight for today's project. First you're going to take um, your cardstock and you're going to want to stamp your image randomly. And I find that a little bit more line detail image works better for this technique. You're just going to stamp these randomly. Now every time you do this it's going to turn out a little bit differently because your card of course is going to turn out differently. <clears throat> and we also want to stamp, um, for my project I stamped three of the same image on a contrasting color. Now I'm going to punch these out, but if you don't have a stamp that has a coordinating punch, you'd be cutting them out. So I'm going to take my coordinating, this is um, the Flower Shop stamp set, and I'm going to take my Pansy Punch and punch them out because it fits perfectly with the Flower Shop punch, or the Flower Shop stamp set. And otherwise you can take your image, cut it out, but you're going to need a couple of the coordinating ones that are the same images as your stamped one. Then we're going to want to take your Big Shot, or you can use um, punches and punch out, but I wanted to make circles, and since I have the circles collection, you're just going to stick these randomly on your uh, platform and run it through your Big Shot. <clears throat> and I've pre-done that. And so here we have our pre-cut out things. Now the tricky part about this flower is it's a little difficult to always figure out which flower goes where. I did find a little trick. Sometimes it's easier just to lay the image on top first and then go in from the bottom and find the matching lineup underneath. So there we've got that flower. And again, I'm going to just, yep, that's the easiest way to do it. While I was trying to figure this out, then I came up with a solution. So you just go like this, and then you're going to go in from the back side and put that there. So like I said, we have a couple that are hanging over the top, so we're just going to go in and trim those off like that. You could do it with your paper cutter or just a scissor. I'm just using my scissor. And once you get those um, cut out like that, then we're going to mount it on our background. Now you can mount it flat, but I kind of liked it dimensional, you know, with a little dimension on it. So I'm sticking some dimensions on the back of these. And just going to peel it off. Flip it over. Mount it to our mat like that. And you can see on this one here, I finished it off with a little banner tag and a butterfly. And that butterfly is one of the beautiful wings and bossolettes. And the cool part about these is it not only cuts them, but it also embosses them. So you get, you know, five really cool butterflies um, out of your little embossolette. And I added one along with a little rhinestone to finish it off. I hope you enjoyed this week's technique how-to. Be sure to stop over at my blog at www.stampstodiefor.com and pick up your free little tutorial page. You can stamp up a little sample and place here and add it to the other pages of our 52 weeks of technique how-tos. 
and you'll have a cool reference for future use. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy stamping!